Good morning, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC tune-up guy. Today is Friday, February 21st, 2020. Uh, we've been off the air for a couple weeks for a good reason. We've been working on Linux, uh, migrating all of our Windows stuff to the Linux platform, a lot of our development tools, a lot of our remote support tools, a lot of our database tools. Uh, we still keep our servers running. We got a 2012, a 2019, two 2019 servers. And my old Alienware i7-920 Aurora, um, it's nearly mothballed. Um, it still runs. It's still great. I still have a 500 gig SSD drive in there. I've got an, what have I got in there for video cards? I've got a, what have I got? A Radeon RX 580 in there. Oh, uh, what else? A two terabyte Fire CUDA, Seagate Fire CUDA. Uh, all that stuff's carbonated, backed up. But... I've moved everything from there over to my AMD, um, what do you call it? <laughs> it's been a day already. My 3700X system. So anyhow, I'm going to go over my latest builds that I showed you in my previous videos. However, I want to give you a heads up that with the coronavirus and other delays in the supply chain, it is affecting us a little bit. We aren't getting things as fast as possible unless it's mainstream things. So we do build to order. We do some custom builds. So the only thing that I've done in the past um, couple weeks is uh, change up some of my, some of my parts, uh, tried to optimize the uh, selection of our inventory. Because um, we don't carry inventory, we just repair. So if it's broke, if it's not a drive, a power supply, something simple, We'll have to order it because we just don't like to carry inventory. First of all, um, it's bad to carry inventory because it just um, it just goes bad. I mean, I've got a ton of stuff, like cables and connectors and stuff like that. We eventually always recycle those. But for the most part, um, no, I mean, we're, we're running just smooth. Um, so let me show you a little bit about um, the latest two builds. And I know it looks a little janky, but um, it works. So anyhow, let me show you that real quick. Um, let's see. Let's take the video here. And let me fire this up and bring this to you. Okay, so hold still. All right, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, let me move out here. First build um, that we did was this 2700X, okay? As you can see, um, I just got a simple video card on there because it doesn't come with stock um, onboard video, which is fine. Uh, it does come with HDMI, uh, but I like to put an above board card to make sure it's working great. Um, the processor itself doesn't, so you can see that the motherboard has an HDMI port on it. Um, however, the CPU doesn't support that, to my knowledge. Uh, what else? Let's see here. This is my uh, Ryzen. Uh, 3950X. This is really cool. Uh, that's all the RAM that we did. I put in, uh, I've got two more of those on order. I've split up the 128 gig between three systems. So I have 64, um, 64, and another 64. So every computer. So originally I bought 128 and then I bought another 64. That's where uh, my supplier sort of limited me to buying not as much. Uh, the 3700X. That's in my Go Green PC Do It Yourself system. The uh, Wraith stock cooler is on this one. And I bought this big cooling system. Um, gosh, I forgot the name. It was expensive, but I didn't want to do water cooling. So I went ahead and just uh, got this bad boy. I wanted the black one, not the silver one. So I ordered that. As you can tell, um, that's my old Alienware Aurora system. Um, it's just running here. I got a little server there in the back. It's not pretty, but it works. Um, what else? Oh, let me fire these things up. Let's see here. Uh, let me flip on this power switch here. Okay. And then let me grab something to jumper this real quick. Just grab my key, cross those two pins. Let me do the same over here. 
Let's see, this guy's gonna go. That's a nice build. Keyboard strobed. Nothing on the monitor yet. Oh, there it goes. Uh, can you see that? A little bright. Yeah. Hopefully you can read that. Yeah, it's coming in at 18C. Of course, it is cold out here. So, so let's do this one here. This is my 3950X. Let me reach over. Let's see. Kick this on. Let's go ahead and do this. Grab my key. I just cross these two pins right here. Give this a second. A little spin up. I don't have hard drives on these yet. I am getting those. Uh, oh, hey, here we go. There we go. Let's see what we got there. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's my 3950X. That's cool. Not too bad. But like I said, I've got uh, my 3700X is in my Go Green PC DIY system. So, anyhow. Um, what else we got? I think that's about it. Let's put this back up. Alright, let's put this back together. It's pretty close. Good enough for government work. About right there. There we go. Okay. Cutting out. Let's see here. Okay, so let me share with you something else that I wanted to talk about. Um, I have a bag here of jump drives. And I have a box here of jump drives. Thumb drives. USB sticks. I buy these in packs of uh, 10 each. Okay? These end up being like $2 a piece. These are only 2 gig. Okay? I use these for data recovery and backups in Linux operating systems. So something small, 2 gig. But you can buy these really cheaply. So instead of wasting like an 8, 16, 64 gig, 34 gig USB jump drive, you can buy these. And uh, in the comments below, I'll put the links to them. But they're, they're really handy. I use them for um, some of our lawyers need court cases. So they used to use CDs, DVDs. We don't, we don't want to waste that. The courts want them on jump drives, which I think is really bad. But the files, you know, it's usually like 4 or 5 meg in data files. Anyhow, here's some other devices that I use. This here is a Transcend uh, card reader adapter to USB 3. And in there you can put these little SanDisk chips. These little chips you can put in there. I put in on these, I use these for backups as well as operating systems. Um, so, as you can tell, when I go and leave the store, I always carry one of these with me. This little jump drive here. This little jump drive. See? Um, it's basically a 64 gig. Is this 64 or 32? This is 32. This is the 32 gig Windows 10 operating system. Okay, 64 bit, 32 bit, um, Windows 10 Home, Pro, etc. I have four or five of these, and you can get these for like five, six bucks from Office Depot. I'll put one, two, three, four, maybe five of these ready to go. So when an office calls me and they say you want to upgrade to Windows 10, I can just walk in and plug this into each one of the computers. And on these things, not only do I have the operating system, I have um, my analysis tools to capture all of the configuration before I upgrade the system. So in case there's a problem, I've got all the um, serial numbers, I've got all the, the hardware configuration before, then I run the same tool afterwards and get the information after. So I have a before and after picture, and then I can run these simultaneously. Um, in most cases, if the computers are on the domain, I will not um, um, let those run by themselves. I'll keep an eye on them. I'll stay on site as much as possible. 
five or six systems on the domain, I will leave them plugged into the internet so they can get all the updates necessary. Now if this is a standalone computer or just one or two and it's not on a domain controller, I will unplug the network cable and just run this by itself, it'll be faster. It'll be like an hour on an i5, i7. If it's on the internet, it's like two hours. Um, if it's a slower computer, it'll be like two hours, where it used to be five or six hours to do an upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, I'm doing more upgrades right now than reinstalls, but in the past I was doing more reinstalls from scratch because I didn't want to see any problems. Well, right now we're doing a ton of upgrades just because we're about a month past the cutoff from, or more than a month, than the January 14th, 2020 deadline for no longer supporting Windows 7. Even though Microsoft has screwed up three or four times with their updates to where they have to release more updates after the fact. But other than that though, well, I covered my AMD 37X, 3700X, 2700X, 3950X, those computers, those builds. Um, I'm waiting on cases. I got some DIY PC cases coming in. I can't get the green ones anymore like I want. Um, so I'm getting the red, the blue, and the blue, and the, there's another one. <laughs> can't remember. Anyhow, that's it. Um, this is Andy from Mountain Computers. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, download our software, Go Green PC Tune-Up. It works. Um, we installed it, what, 10 times in the past couple days on various computers. It's part of our support plan, part of our support package. It just works. Um, other than that, though, have a great day. It's Friday. Uh, be sure to get outside. The weather's getting nice. Have your bag of tricks. Have your backups in place. Carbonite your stuff. And uh, have a great day. Now, where did I do with my uh, <laughs> turn off tool? There it is. There it is. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye bye.